Just beaten to it by David Jones. Pearson playing a delightful ball there for David Thomas. Inside for Dobson. Now King. Beautifully weighted there for Andy King. Pearson's coming up in there. Latchford's in there too. And that's a good goal for Everton. And they've begun exactly where they left off at the start of last season when they came here and won handsomely. Andy King playing such a big part in it. They're the two men who've made it. King, who played a big part in it over on that uh, left touchline. Latchford with the header. Past Phil Parks just inside the post. Oh, Masson not quite controlling that one. Andy King sending Dave Thomas on his way now. This could be more trouble for Rangers. Latchford in the middle, and David Jones has come up as well. Latchford with the header. Oh, a beautiful goal. A second one for Latchford, and a second for Everton. And the architect is the man who so recently was a Rangers player, Dave Thomas. A great run down the left. Latchford beautifully placed for that uh, near post header. Wider Phil Parks. Easter. Bowles. Clement. High towards Don Givens, but even higher was Mark uh, Higgins. Oh, and a great goal by Peter Easter. Well, that'll put Rangers back in the game. By word, how they needed it. And it looked to be no great danger for Everton as Higgins got up so well. When it came to Easto, a lot of space for him, surprising that left foot hooked high into the net. Masson after him. Here's McKenzie. Bit of space for him on the right. Got it across beautifully. Oh! Uh, Thomas on the far side couldn't quite finish it off superb piece of play though by McKenzie that devastating sprint over maybe only three or four yards when it really mattered hard low cross Rangers in trouble and Thomas couldn't quite turn it in but it gives Everton this free kick and Thomas Chipping it now to the far side. Andy King coming in. And Latchford has got his hat-trick. Well, Rangers, who are dab hands themselves at free kicks, badly caught out by that one as it's floated out. And Andy King on the byline, turning it in. No trouble at all there for Bob Latchford. Need him to mess up. Need him again. Oh, he's giving it away to McKenzie. Now, can McKenzie make this four for Everton? And he can, and he made it look like child's play. And the Everton men are rushing towards McKenzie. And Dave Needham is the man who knows that it's his mistake that has virtually put this game beyond the reach of Rangers now. Needham's mistake. McKenzie on it like a flash. And he kept his cool superbly as Parks came out into the back of the net. He's really been a cut above Rangers for most of the afternoon, except for that one little period just before half-time when it looked as though Rangers might come back at them. Dobson to King. That's a good shot! Oh, and another fine save by Phil Fox. Andy King, the former Luton lad, having a very lively game indeed and a good left-foot shot. And Phil Fox just finger-tipping it over. What a game he's had, Andy King. Made the first and third goals. And here's Dave Thomas, who made the second one. With the corner for Everton. The fists of Parks. Dobson. Uh, now Latchford, not his fourth goal, surely. Yes! And the fifth for Everton. Well, it's a riot. Four goals for Bob Latchford. No wonder he can afford to smile like that. The other one coming from Duncan McKenzie, which in itself was a juicy one. And Everton all smiles as that ball fell for Bob Latchford. He couldn't believe his luck.
and he gave Parks very little chance. So Masson again with a corner, hit wider this time. Busby with the header, Easto right in there with a the header too. And in the end, it was Bowles who just stabbed it over. He claimed that Wood had touched it over. The referee said no, it's a goal kick. Now it's Bowles. Turning him one way, turning him the other way. Can he do it yet again? Or is he going to run into trouble? Well, he's, no, he's giving him a few problems there. And a lovely little overhead, well saved, though, by George Wood from David Needham. Well, that was a bit of vintage bowls. And in the end, that little shuffled cross and an overhead by Needham and a good piece of reflex goalkeeping by George Wood. Masson, Busby. What a good ball by Busby for Easto. Oh, and he hit the post. What a terrible piece of luck for Peter Easto. Could Bowles turn it in? Free kick. But what a ball that was by Busby. It gave Easto the opportunity to show his speed and his uh, shooting skill. And he whacked it against the post. Here's Masson. Back again for John Hollins. And a touch by Easto, and my word, he couldn't have come closer yet again. So uh, Hollins putting that ball in, Easto with the touch. So very close indeed. In fact, it could almost be 5-3 now instead of 5-1 to Everton. And Bowles curling it. And a good save again by George Wood. Made that look so easy. As Bowles curved it. Wood himself was curving through the air. Now here's Busby. Bowles. Givens. Oh, just wide. Took that opportunity, really, with an economy of effort that uh, almost caught Everton out. Sweeping it wide of goalkeeper Wood, but also wide of that far post. Don Givens. Stan Bowles. A penalty. That time a foul by Jones on Bowles. A yard inside the box. Not too many complaints, I think, by Everton. It looked a penalty. And Roger Kirkpatrick had no doubts that it was worth a penalty. Now, Bowles and McKenzie having a slight word with each other to decide which side Stan Bowles will put it. McKenzie told him one way, and I'm not sure that I'd take Duncan's word for it. Let's see, though. Bowles versus George Wood. And a lot of encroachment. Wow, that was an amazing save by George Wood. Bowles took it. An enormous amount of encroachment on the left-hand side of the penalty area, though. But Wood down. And the penalty was saved. There's the final whistle. A fine victory for Everton. And their manager, Gordon Lee, just getting out of the tunnel. He really is getting this Everton side on the move. And nobody was more on the move, and I'm sure all Everton fans would agree, than their number nine, Bob Latchford, being mobbed on the pitch by one or two fans and now shaking hands with the referee. Bob Latchford now going into the tunnel, number nine. Scorer of four goals for Everton. The other one, maybe the sweetest of the lot in many ways, by number 10, Duncan McKenzie, with Peter Easto offering the sole response from Queen's Park Rangers. Final scoreline then. Queen's Park Rangers 1, Everton 5.